It is with overwhelming sadness that I address you today. My heart is heavy because we don't have answers as to why this tragedy occurred. But what I can tell you is that the Raleigh Police Department and the Raleigh community is resilient and we stand strong and we will heal and we will be stronger as a result of what has occurred. As you know, five individuals lost their lives, including an off-duty Raleigh Police Department officer. Two others were injured, including a Raleigh police officer who has been treated and released from the hospital. The other injured victim is 59-year-old Marcel Gardner, who is still in critical condition. A 15-year-old white male suspect was taken into custody and is in critical condition. We mourn and share the loss of not only our officer, but all the victims of this senseless gun crime. Gun violence prevention and violent crime reduction has been a priority for me. The deceased have been identified as Nicole Connors, 52 years old, Susan Carnitz, 49, Mary Marshall, 35, Raleigh Police Officer Gabriel Torres, 29 years old, and a 16-year-old white male. To the Raleigh community, we are grateful for your immediate 911 calls and continuous updates and your patience as we continue to conduct this investigation. We also want to salute the valiant efforts of a broad coalition of public safety partners who assisted in our investigation yesterday. I'm extremely proud, extremely proud of the brave and selfless acts of our Raleigh Police Department officers, joined by our Nightdale Police, Wake County Sheriff's Office, State Capitol Police, the North Carolina State Highway Patrol, the State Bureau of Investigation, our federal partners to include the FBI, ATF, ALE, U.S. Marshals, State Wildlife Resources, and so many more who were just instrumental in the successful, as the successful apprehension of the suspect. It was a team effort and everybody came up together. We want to thank our local partners as well, the Raleigh Fire Department, Emergency Communication Center, the Wake County EMS and Raleigh Parks for their response as well. In addition, we proactively evacuated two community centers yesterday, Marsh Creek and Buffalo Aquatics, as well as locked down 16 staff and students at Beaver Creek Elementary School. What I want to leave you with, while we are grieving, Raleigh remains a resilient community and we will get through this together. Please keep the families and loved ones of our victims in your hearts and in your prayers. For the Raleigh Police Department, please keep our officers covered and uplifted. And we also want to keep in prayer the family of the suspect of this tragedy. This um, investigation is ongoing. And if you have additional information, if anyone has any information concerning it, please notify our Crime Stoppers line at 919-996-1193. We will continue to update you as the investigation continues. At this time, I will take any questions that you may have. We are unable to share that information this time, but as soon as we have that, we will get that to you. Yes. So the crime scene was pretty um, expansive, over two miles. Um, we had that, eight, that section roped off, sectioned off, and we're asking that the public stay away from that um, as we continue the investigation. Once we received the 911 call yesterday, and we're so thankful to the community for that and for the continual updates that we received, um, our officers immediately responded as well as our other partners. Um, once we arrived, we did um, find that there were two victims and throughout the investigation, we ended up with five victims who were deceased and then our two who were injured. Chief, can you please explain the circumstances as to how this all played out? This is a situation that we prepare for, that our officers are well trained to respond to, and they immediately went into action um, once we got the call and we started to get more information on what was occurring. Um, I'm so thankful for the quick response, and I'm so thankful 
that we were able to apprehend the suspect and get him into custody very quickly. Um, as you see, as yesterday, we gave you an update and we provided information. It was a long standoff, long situation, but the resolution of it has been successful, and I'm very thankful for that. Yes, we will. So um, as is protocol with the city of Raleigh, we will produce a five-day report that will be coming with all the facts and information that we're able to provide. Chief, is there any information as to why Officer Torres was there? I mean, was it just happenstance or, you know, as being an officer, did he hear the gunshots and, and maybe go to the scene? Any color you can give there would be appreciated. Mm -hmm. So again, this is ongoing. Our investigation is ongoing. But what I can say that Officer Torres was on his way to work. This is an extremely, extremely painful event for our officers, for me, for this entire community. Um, upon receiving the information, I was immediately updated by my staff. I was coming from a law enforcement um, conference where we were talking about gun violence, talking about making our community safer. I was immediately taken aback, shocked by what occurred, but again, we are resilient. We have been training and we're prepared to handle these situations. I cannot express how proud I am of our officers and our law enforcement partners. The response was overwhelming and it was just extraordinary. We are still working through those. Um, we do have the suspect in custody as stated and we are working through that. That is part of the investigation that is ongoing. I'm sorry, did the suspect live in, the, in that neighborhood, and particularly the Henningham neighborhood? We are still working through that. Is a motive known? We do not know at this time. Again, I just want to say that you know this investigation is ongoing. We know how that goes and how that plays out. Once we have more information, we'll be happy to share it with you. But at this time, we cannot. I'm sorry. We don't have that information at this time. We will get that to you. The shootings occurred um, in the streets, in the neighborhood, and then the suspect fled towards the Greenway, and then the, we had some more victims who were shot at, in the Greenway. That was the last question. Thank you. Um, we appreciate your time. I've got, I've got them up for you right here. Okay. So we will update you with information as we get it, but we appreciate you being here. We appreciate you, Chief Patterson. Thank you so much. We